So my family used to go on these fishing trips and we haven't we hadn't caught anything for like five or six years and we're all sitting around trying to think of a way to make fishing less boring. And I set for myself the goal of catching a fish using a model rocket and returning it safely to Earth. And I knew that this would be a difficult task and so I developed the remote controlled rocket bike documented in this film as a way of developing the technology. Now why, some may ask, use a model rocket? Why does Rice play the University of Texas? We choose to catch a fish using a model rocket and to do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we will take away. <laughs> okay, this is a new design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in here. I've got this little thing blocking the connection. Then we're going to have um, this going to run by poles or something on the ground and knock this out. Then the battery falls through this and then hopefully it'll launch. Don't drive it, don't drive it. All right, this is the third rocket bike, and on rocket bike number two, we had the engines here, and we had a problem of them not um, going off simultaneously. And if you watch on the tape, it goes this way, and then curves back the other way because they weren't going at the same time. So now we got both rockets in the middle, and hopefully they'll steer a little bit better. test it to make sure the whole thing doesn't blow up, so we've got a thing set up over here. And I'm not sure we want to put that on the bike. Alright, here goes the next trial. Um, we decided to go with the D-Rocket, even though it caught on fire last time, and we put a shoehorn here. we got a little bit of space in between the rocket and the motorcycle, and hopefully it won't melt or anything. So now we're going to go, we got eight things, they're all a meter apart. And I'm hoping it's going to go at least 15 miles an hour, maybe 20, but he doesn't believe me. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Are you going through? Yeah. No, I'm empty. What you've just seen was the beginning of a 12 minute clip in which time we never made the motorcycle hit this area. It might have been because of the high winds, we're not sure, but I've made a few modifications that I'm going to explain to you now. Okay, first of all, we set up two boards eight inches apart. Hopefully this will help the motorcycle to go in a straight line. Uh, make that centimeters. We've also switched to a D12 booster rocket. That means there's no charge at the end to blow out the parachute. We're not sure what's going to happen. But uh, we'll find out. Um, they were sold out of the other engines. Now, when you're standing this close to a rocket, it's important to always wear the proper safety gear. Okay, we're going to do, uh, do a couple of practice runs just um, without the battery attached, just to make sure that it rips off the little the cord and everything. So we're going to do that now. That's pretty good. Huh? 
terrible. And welcome to Rocket Bike 35. What happened? Okay, it looks like we're missing a connection on the side closest to us. We're not sure though. So I guess we're gonna have to take it home and see what happens tomorrow. Well there we are. Wait, wait, test day twelve. This marks the fiftieth unsuccessful. <laughs> Attempt at the rocket bike project. Oh, we're on. <laughs> <laughs> the horses. The horses. <laughs> we got five meters between when the rocket starts and the ramp. If it goes at this angle at eight meters a second, we should be jumping 3.75 meters. Okay, um, if you look at the last tape, the rocket was flipping forward. So what we did is we uh, figured out where the center of gravity is. And it's about right where this little white dot is. And the old engines were way up here. So that's why we were getting it to spin forward. So I've added this new um, setup to try to fix that. Okay, December 28th, uh, 2001. Yesterday we tried dropping it off the back of the truck at 20 miles an hour. And at about this height, here it was okay, but if I moved it up just a little bit, it didn't work. So now what we're doing, we got the ramp set up here, and we're gonna drag it by these strings off the track, and we're gonna see what happens. There are some who say that communism is the wave of the future. Kiwis, Romanus, so Lost the not Berlin in common. <laughs>